What is up everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here for yet another video. My name is Stuart Carter, I make videos based around fitness and finance, two areas I believe all of us should be focusing on because they are where we wanna be the most successful in life. If they sound like areas that would be of interest to you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch today. You might as well just hit the like button because that helps out the YouTube algorithm and it's gonna help me out big time in 2022. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's very quick video. I thought it'd be a great time coming up to the start of 2022 to talk about something that I think is very, very important. And as you would have guessed from the title of the video, I want to talk about why it is important that you look to start investing your money as soon as possible. Before we get into that, I just want to break down the three different types of investing that I currently do at the moment and I know it's probably the most popular types of investing. Those three are day trading, long-term actual investing and obviously cryptocurrency. I'm not gonna go into all of those right now because I have a whole bunch of videos planned for January and February where I talk about each of those in depth, but basically in a nutshell, kind of to breeze over it very quickly, I see cryptocurrency as a place that you probably should put a little bit of a percentage of your money. However, I do see cryptocurrency as a bit of a gamble. I do see it as a bit of fun. Um, if you've got some spare money, maybe five to 10% of your money, putting that into something like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Decentraland is another one that is uh, I currently have at the moment, Avalanche. But I think the most important thing for you to remember with cryptocurrency, especially at the moment, it's a very volatile market. It's very up and down, and that isn't one of the focuses of today's video. A day trading is a very exciting way of trading shares and stocks in companies. However, again, because you're working in such short time periods, the margins that you guys are gonna make, or inevitably sometimes lose, are gonna be very, very small. So, you know, you're risking a little bit of capital to be able to make not that much more money in the space of a day. The reason why, by the way, that that's so successful is because people don't just have like one or two shares that they check up on every day and day trade in those. Sometimes they have thousands of different shares that they're constantly buying and selling every single day. But as a beginner, nobody is really gonna have that much time to do that. So let's get onto the actual part of this video and that is explaining why I believe that you guys need to start investing in the right place going into 2022. So I'm gonna bring my free trade app up onto the screen right now so you can see. If you look at the last seven days, I currently have 300 113 pounds in this particular free trade account and I'm up 77 pounds so currently up about 10 pounds a day uh, I'm not going to bother going through all of the individual stocks because that's not this video the top one is the one that I want you guys to focus on so the S&P 500 now I'm going to chop the phone away and I'm just going to explain to you guys very quickly very briefly kind of an, a brief overview of it and explain why I believe that that is an important place for you to invest your money now on planet Earth, we have this thing called inflation. Inflation notoriously goes up about 2% each year. Now, what that actually means is if you was to take a thousand pounds out of your bank and have it in cash and put it under your bed for 10 years and then get that cash out at the end, although numerically wise, it's still a thousand pounds, it's actually going to have decreased in value over that time. The reason that happens is because as time has gone along, inflation has also gone along with it at the same time. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, well, instead of just taking my money out and putting it under my bed, I'll just leave it in my bank account. Now, banks notoriously have anywhere from like 0.2 to 0.25% interest every single year on the balances that you have in a savings account. And that for me alone was one of the things that got the cogs turning for me a year or so ago, because I was like, well, if I put my money into a bank account and they pay me 0.25% interest, but the rate of inflation is 2% a year, my money is still deteriorating even when I've got it in a savings account with interest attached. So that brings us on to the point of the video on why I believe you should put your money invest your money into something like the S&P 500. So the S&P 500 is an index fund. And what this means is a brokerage will have a certain amount of people that manage an index of funds. So the S&P 500 is actually the top 500 companies in the United States. So it's everything from Microsoft, Tesla, Apple, Facebook, Meta, it's it's all of the biggest company. And it kind of, if you imagine if you put 500 pounds into the S&P 500, 
There's very smart people that spread it. You're hedging your bets across the whole of the top 500. And the reason that this is so beneficial is because if they're by some miracle Apple or Tesla or Facebook went down overnight, you're not really gonna be impacted that much. You're certainly not gonna lose that much money because there's 499 other massive companies that your money is spread across. And the icing on the cake to this video and the reason why I believe it's so important for you to get into that right now is because since the 1920s, the S&P 500 in the stock market has continuously increased anywhere from nine to 11%, yes, there has been the Great Depression. Yes, there has been obviously coronavirus that's happened. Yes, it's taken a little dip in some years, but it's always spiked back up to continue on that exponential growth. And it's as simple as that. No, it is not 100% foolproof. Yes, a meteorite could come out the sky and wipe out the top 500 companies, but I'm pretty certain that if a meteorite did wipe out America and all of the top 500 companies, we would have a lot bigger problems than you losing your five, 600 pounds. So you putting your money into a stocks and shares ISA and majorly investing into big index funds and ETFs and the S&P 500, that is gonna give you the biggest increase and almost, if we follow historically back all the way through history, that's going to give you almost a guaranteed return on investment. It's important to remember that S&P 500 and the FTSE 100 and any of the other index funds like that, they are long-term investments. This is not something that you can put 500 pounds in today and next week you're gonna take out a grand. But other than that, I wanted to make this very quick video. Hopefully I didn't take too much of your time. Thank you so much for being here for this brand new video on my new fitness and finance channel. Don't forget if you are into your fitness, there is a fitness program in the link in the description below, or you can jump onto Free Trade, which is the app I showed you before. If you join up on the link that's in the description, you will actually get a free share and so will I. And I'm not gonna lie, probably 60 pounds of that is actually from Free Trade. So I thank you so much for being here for another video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.